Iceland may be well known for its superb salmon fishing, and rightly so. But higher up in the shadows of the still rumbling volcanoes and cut deep into the lunar landscape are some of the most beautiful crystal clear wild trout filled rivers you could ever wish to fish. But it's very inaccessible, hence the big truck and have a look at this. These are normally used for glacier travelling, so God knows where we're going today. And I've been told there's some monster trout about. Let's go! Extreme trouting! Now uh, we are at the moment at the roots of Mount Hecla in the highest part of the trout beat. The river starts uh, about six kilometers yeah. above here at the roots of Mount Hecla. Be careful when you go down to the river, it's really important because the river is uh, shallow and it's a uh, crystal clear water. Yeah. So you have to go, yeah, you yeah, have to yeah. go really careful yeah. down, to the, down to the river because of uh, not spooking the fish. Uh, some people like to go down to the bottom of the river and, yeah. and upstream up. it. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it works really well. While Howell has walked past most of the river and is down on the deep glide and having some fun, Debbie, his better half, has found an overlooked pool where the river runs underground and it looks like she's charmed one onto the hook already. Well, our guide put me on this little, a little pool and there was fish in there. So obviously, like he said, you've got to be really careful when you go down there that you don't spook them. So I crept down and it was just basically just dropped the fly in because there was no room to cast or anything. So, so yeah, I just dropped it and moved it across and just sort of hung it in front of them and hey presto, one decided to take my lovely fly. Amazing, the red dots on it. Oh, really beautiful. Yeah, not seeing anything like that. This area is just a small part of the 35 kilometers of river that are offered as a three camp fishing adventure. We have camp uh, just above here, yeah. where you can, where you stay, and uh, you can uh, walk from there to Galtalækur and to Lestranga. Yeah, they travel down the river in a in a canoe. Then they can cover uh, much more water than they can by driving. You can fish in this trout program for maybe uh, four, four or five days without repeating water. The biggest trout that have come out of the river is between seven and seven and a half kilo. We don't know for sure, but we have the measurement of it. Yeah. And all trout are returned? All is released, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing with this super clear water, you can see the fish perfectly, but they can see you. But this type of sneaky stalking is Hal's favourite kind of fishing, and he knows how to outfox them. But when Carl said that the fish must be returned, aren't you meant to catch them first? Hook the fish. Right in the water here. Not what I was told was in the back current there. Played it for a while. Um, but those of you that know me, you know I'm right-handed. <laughs> nah, not in this situation, I couldn't use it. Just give you a brief down on what the setup is. 10 foot, three, four weight, French leader uh, setup. Indicator, long, long tapered leader. Jig head on the point, small nymph, just up from it. Last fish took me mid-water. But I'm just using all this vegetation as camouflage, rubbing it up, ducking my head down, just having a look at that leader. If it stops, I've got to hit it. Um, the only downside, I've actually hooked one fish in this area. It fought around this area, so it's probably spooked most of the fish. Now, I've slid down all the way down this bank on my backside. What I'm going to do is just use all the bank now as a cover. What you've got to do, your profile must never ever get up. Use all the vegetation here. Now it's getting deeper, it's getting faster water. So as I'm moving up, maybe 
I'll have to go on to a little bit heavier fly on the point. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Guides told me there's a big fish down here. He spotted it from the top. If I hook it and it turns down river, I haven't got a hope to hold it. Rest this pool, leave it for an hour, come back. Because there's definitely more than two fish here. Definitely. And when I came to Iceland, I've heard about salmon fishing, I've heard about some lake trout and char, but I never knew that the rivers were so crystal clear. Just imagine the chalk streams you have in the southern part of England. Well, they're just as clear as that. Easy fishing, not on your life. It is tough, tough fishing. Probably the easiest explanation is, think of New Zealand. There are trophy fish in here, but you've got to be on your hands and knees, uh, crawling down or sliding down your backside as I was on most places, using the camouflage behind you, and it's well worth putting the effort in because the rewards are there. There are big fish in there. I didn't land one, but the problem is we're at the bottom of a volcano, uh, so there's loads of lava rock in the river. So it does mean that these fish know what they're doing. They've been hooked before, they've been released, so they've got an old head on them, the big ones. They know how to get away. As Debbie is trying her charms on New Zealand-style nymphing on the deeper glides, look who's off to sneak into the glory hole. Our water pool is unbelievable. The amount of oxygen in this water is tremendous. Now, I want to try and come from underneath behind them. Oh. Use the natural camouflage you've got. There's actually water going under my feet now. I can see the river going down. It comes off there, down there. Disappears in the rock there. Disappears under the rock underneath me. I can actually see it going there and there. It appears 20, 30 yards down river on me. I tell you, if I hook a fish in this pool, <laughs> there's going to be some fun getting it in. Because if it dives under, I'm going to pop in head of landing it. Debs did all right in exactly the same spot. Really, you get some heavy nymphs in this as well, but just missed the tape. Yeah, we've got one. Oh my! Ooh, it's a monster! Oh, don't go down! Don't go down! Don't go down! Come back in! Come back in! Come back in! <laughs> so, I've got underneath him, but have a look there. But right, it disappears under the rock. If that turns in there, I am lost. If he goes under here, so I've come underneath him and ah! Oh! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that'll teach you. That was a three and a half, four pound brown. Well, I only got browns, yeah. <sighs> And I had, to, I had to just do that. I had to just give him as much as I could because he was just going down and down and down into there. Wow. It's a real hook and hold. I've never fished in this situation before. This is extremely fishing. I'll tell you what. If you want easy fishing, stay in the UK and fish your stock water. If you want to test your metal, come out to Iceland. I tell you what, put your skills to test. Last week, you may have seen Hal try the Venyard 120 challenge on the salmon, but tune in next week where we take away the time limit and unleash both Morgans on the River Ranga once again. If you would like to know more information about fishing Iceland, whether it be for salmon or for trouts, then check out lax-a.net.